All right, guys, welcome to another beer review, and it is fucking warm today. Um, as you can see, I'm sweating and my hair's a bit greasy because it's been my day off and I've had a few beers today. And I thought I would uh, end the evening on a nice Imperial Stout. So we're going over once again to Aslin Bruco. And this is a can of the Sous Chef, which is an Imperial Stout conditioned on waffles, blueberries, marshmallows and cacao nibs. 10% ABV. Cool artwork. They've got a few Imperial Stouts in this sort of series with similar artwork. I've got one, the Le Fleur, I think it's called, which is the Imperial Stout conditioned on pretzels, peanut butter, and I can't remember some other, some other wonderful sounding stuff indeed. And uh, the beers that I've had from Aslin so far have been really good. I'd say they're darker beers for me. I've just been a little bit more interesting. But um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff indeed. And I purchased this from Soda and Suds through their web shop. I've got some really great beers. Probably one of the best beer hauls that I've done for quite a while. And um, yeah. <coughs> Not had a bad beer from that order, which is always good and I will be purchasing from them again. Anyway, enough about some blowing smoke up people's arses. Let's get on with the beer review. So, drinking this at room temperature. <clears throat> Although I do like the occasional Imperial Stout, slightly chilled down, especially if it's a dessert stout because I find you, it just makes it that little bit more indulgent. But I thought, let's just crack this open. So, beer in the glass then, and it smells amazing already, and I've not had a proper sniff. Pretty much jet black, no head at all, just remnants around the side. Looking fantastic. Let's see what we get on the nose. Straight away, I'm hit with that blueberry character. Yeah, blue, blue, blueberry waffles. Do you know what? It's like those, um, like, you know, cheap sweet waffles. And you pop them in the micro in the microwave, in the toaster for a, a couple of minutes. And they sort of like get a little bit crispy. Oh, man. To me, it's all about the blueberries and that sort of like waffle pastry sort of thing. It smells fantastic, though. Not getting too much of the marshmallows on the nose. And there is maybe a little bit of that cacao coming through. But yeah, it's all about those berries. It smells fantastic. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. That's really nice. It's not as silly as I was uh, almost expecting it to be. And it's not too sickly sweet either. The cacao nibs come out a little bit more on the flavour as they do on the nose. As do the marshmallows. The marshmallow adds like a little bit of sweetness. Well, you already get sweetness from the blueberry, which is up front. But the marshmallow, it's got a genuine marshmallow flavour. As if you just took it straight out of the pack and just popped it in your mouth. And then that cacao comes in, plays a bit more of a role on the sort of like the back end, on the aftertaste. But yeah, it's blueberry can't can't say it it's blueberry waffles that first initial hit oh man it's got a nice smooth mouthfeel 
as I was pouring it, it was looking almost a little bit thin uh, while I was pouring it, but on the flavour, it's velvety smooth, it's viscous. It's not like the thickest Imperial Stout ever, but I thought I've said this loads, but why do we always sort of like anticipate that? Do you know what I mean? If it doesn't like hit all of those extremes, a lot of the time we're like, ah, a little bit, a little bit disappointed by that. That's my uh, person who's disappointed voice. But to me, devastatingly drinkable for its ABV. But yeah, blueberry waffles. It's even like a bit of like a pancake sort of flavour, like American style pancakes. Man, that's so good. That's just so nice. It's one of those beers where I could imagine some people trying it might say, oh, I wish it was this, I wish it was that, I wish it was a little bit more XXX, whatever. But I've got no qualms or issues with this beer at all because I think it's, excuse me, I think it's absolutely lovely. And I'm really getting back into my Imperial Pastry Stouts. And I think the American breweries are just like way ahead of the curve on these sorts of beers. They really, really are. In the UK, we're sort of like on that level. Sometimes, like, what's the word? going beyond that when it comes to like the IPAs, you know, the juice bombs and that sort of thing. But when it comes to like Imperial pastry stouts, Imperial like fruited sours, all these sort of like weird and wonderful combinations based on like desserts and there's just something about the way the American breweries do it that always, always hit the mark. I mean, that peanut butter brown ale that I had from Aslin. Uh, tell you what, Jesus Christ, got a runny nose to die tonight, the lads. But, um, yeah, that brown ale that I had from these guys a couple of weeks ago. That was just mega as well. That, like, they seem to give you what they say on the can, which when you're brewing these sorts of beers, I'd imagine that's a really hard thing to actually nail. Because how many times you've like had, oh, this is an X and X inspired or styled Imperial Stout, Sour, whatever, and you have it and you're like, I can kind of see what they're going for, but to me, it's more like blah, 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 or doesn't hit the notes at all. It's nothing like what I was expecting or what I was promised on the can but I've yet to be like really dis disappointed by these sorts of uh, beers from the American breweries and I know they're not to everyone's tastes I know a lot of people like beers to be a bit more simple a bit more reined in just like back to basics brewing it's like a lot a lot of people I know I mean I love triple IPAs I love East Coast style triple IPAs. I think that to me is like the pinnacle for me of an IPA if you want to go big and bold. It doesn't always have to be a triple IPA. And like people are like, oh, I'm getting a bit bored of this, get a bit bored of that. But I don't know what point I'm trying to make here. It's always sound like I've got a bit of like a superiority complex, which I'm far from. Have you seen me? Um... Have you watched these reviews? I just think the American breweries absolutely nail these insane dessert-inspired beers. And the stout itself, although those flavours obviously dominate somewhat, you can just, you can taste a really good base imperial stout. 
It's got a nice, slightly roasty feel from the malts. Not sure what like the hops they might have used in this. Not that it, I don't think it really matters in all intents and purposes, but. It's a sort of a gimmicky beer, but it gives you exactly what it promises. And um, I'm sounding like a broken record now. I think you can tell I'm really enjoying this beer. And it's going to be drunk a little bit too quickly. And that's the danger of beers like this. But if you ever see it, because um, I know there's a lot of sort of web shops now that are stocking beers from the likes of Aslin. The first I saw them was at Northern Monk. So I picked up a couple of like IPAs and pails. Which I thought were decent, but I've been much more uh, blown away by their darker beers. And not necessarily just the higher ABV. I'm not one of those people who has to have it in Imperial. I don't have to have it one extreme or the other. But I think when it comes to dark beers, from my very limited experience, Aslin are doing an absolutely amazing job. And I'm very excited for that other Imperial stout I've got from these guys. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if like the stuff other places are getting is through Suds and Soda. Like whether they're like the main sort of importer of these beers. Because they're, they're obviously linked with Neon Raptor. And if you go into Neon Raptor's web shop as well, they're doing, a little, they're doing some of the American beers available. But go check out Suds and Soda if you're in the UK. Fantastic web shop. And uh, it's one that I shall be ordering from again. Um, it's one of those ones where, I mean, if you've got the money, you could order week in, week out. But for me, if I want to treat myself to some nice, sort of harder to get, hyped beers from America, Suds and Soda have got me covered. And uh, it's not just the American stuff either. There's loads of really good UK stuff available and other countries as well it's just a great range and the price are really good also um but yeah anyway the smoke will officially stop being blown up people's asses go check out aslin lovely stuff indeed go check out suds and soda if you've tried this or any of the other beers not just in this series but from aslin am i saying that brewery correctly probably not then uh, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. You all take care, stay safe. And uh, my moustache is looking a little bit darker after this beer. You all take care and uh, I'll see you next time. Don't wink, you creepy bastard.